Create and delete brushes in Ornatrix for Cinema 4D allow for a direct and completely controlled placement of uh, hair strands and hair roots on top of your character. To demonstrate this in this tutorial I just have a basic character mesh and notice that it does not really have any selection or a scalp mesh separated or anything like this. We just have a complete mesh where we can directly place hairs. So this mesh is just a polygon inside the scene and first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add standard hair on top of my character and I'm going to go down and make sure that there are no hairs present initially. To do this I'm going to reduce the render count of hairs to 1 and also I'm going to make sure that the guides for mesh a guide count is set to 0. This way there will be no pre-existing hairs and all of the hairs that we create will be cr planted by us using the create brush. So next I'm going to move the edit guides uh, below the hair from guides so that it gets evaluated after hair from guides. Essentially this ensures that we are working on hairs and not guides at the moment. Next I'm going to press the brush button and scroll all the way down to find the brush selection. And here next to the comb brush, to the right of it, we have the create brush. If I click this brush and I just drag on top of my character, I start creating hair roots. It's as easy as that. Actually let's go and uh, add a mesh from strands operator at the very end of our operator stack so that we get the hairs meshed. and we get better visualization of it. So if I go back down, we have our create brush. So by default, if I just drag on top of my character, the hairs get created randomly and there are a lot of them. So the more you drag, the more hairs are added. Let me just decrease the, the width of the hairs a little bit. Uh, this is uh, probably not ideal if you want to plant uh, lots of uniformly spaced uh, hairs on top of your character. So what we can do is we can uh, control the placement of the hairs using this root spacing parameter. By default it's set to zero, which means that the created hairs are not enforced to be a certain distance away from each other. But if I change this parameter to some value, for example let's set it to 2, and they start dragging, you see that the hair roots are now created um, spaced apart at least 2.2 units. I guess in our case that's, that's centimeters away from each other. So if I set this to a much smaller value like uh, 0 0.4 or something like this, maybe even smaller, 0 0.2, we can uh, drag on our character and it doesn't matter how much I drag on the same spot it's just not going to allow me to create hairs that are closer to each other than 0 0.2 units in my scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over my character's uh, head and place a whole bunch of hairs on it. Notice that when I drag the brush and uh, I'm creating new hairs, new hair roots it's still going to take the already planted hairs into consideration and still enforce that spacing rule that we have applied before, which is uh, the roots can't be closer than 0 0.2 units between each other. So as you can see, I created a uh, somewhat head full of hair. Maybe I missed a few spots so that I can fill in like this. But I've made some mistakes along the way. For example, I put some hairs where they don't need to be. This is easily corrected if I select the delete brush instead of the create brush. And with the delete brush, I can go over my character and I can delete the hairs the same way that I created them. So all I have to do is I can press down and wherever I, uh, my brush goes, it's going to remove the hairs that I don't need in those positions. So once I, I have created hairs or I deleted them or anywhere in between, I can do standard things like brush my hair into positions and style my character any way I want to. I can repeat the same process by creating other fur balls. So I can pr uh, create separate hairs on my character by just uh, selecting my base mesh first and then doing the uh, add hair again and then uh, reducing the render count to zero as well as the guide count. Uh, in this case uh, maybe I want to plant some uh, eyebrows or eyelashes. Let's try eyelashes in this case. Uh, all I have to do is scroll down, select my create brush and this time if I go down for the root position instead of random I'm going to press center. I'm still going to select the root spacing just so that the guides are not completely randomly placed and then I'm just going to click and drag over the eyelid of my character to create a whole bunch of hairs. Uh, you, you can see that they're created sort of long 
to control the length of the created strands you can uh, scroll up and you have the options here of the created strand length which controls how long the created strands are as well as how many points they have so in instead of 10 you may want to have fewer points for eyelashes because they don't really curve that much uh, again uh, maybe I will add a mesh from strands to the bottom of my stack of course this is not needed if you're uh, when you're rendering your hairs it's just useful for the viewport and decrease the width a little bit and then I can also mirror uh, symmetry these hairs to the other side of the character so that I only need to create them in one place of course after I have created my eyelashes I can always go and, uh, and style them and do various other things that you may need to do with your character's hair so uh, this is just a, a, a quick and simple demonstration of, of these features of directly placing and deleting hairs on your character using the create and delete brushes in Ornatrix for Cinema 4D.